Okay, people make mistakes on camera. He's like, yeah, look at John Finkel not blocking. I was like, lol. So, and he's like, you know, Finkel's the best in the world, so. Yeah, that's true. And yeah, everybody makes mistakes sometimes. Yeah, of it's course. Just, when it's on course. camera, it's like documented. Like you make mistakes all the time yeah. when you play match to match. It's so hard to go through an entire match not making a single mistake. Yeah. It's almost impossible. It's actually funny. Uh, I don't know if you saw the AJ Soccer, AJ TV when he when he talked about the whole Kibler Finkel. It was like it was like a half hour long about how it wasn't a mistake or maybe it was a mistake or something. I don't know. It was interesting. If you guys like uh, AJ TV, you guys should check it out. It came out about a month and a half ago, but now it's on YouTube and stuff, so you guys can watch it. All right, so these guys are shuffling up for game three. And uh, a lot of people want to see goblins. Yeah, goblins. I'm, I'm reading semis. Twitter right now. Everybody just, uh, just, uh, just, just like that. Oh, so, somebody said I was wrong because I predicted the other guy would win. So now we have to switch seats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very nice. <laughs> so, all right. So these guys definitely look happy to be here and stuff. David Rice is a. Uh, not only a, a, a New York Yankee fan, a, a Sesame Street, uh, Street fan as, uh, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Two good things to be. Yeah. Yeah. I heard Sesame Street changed a lot. Since back when we were kids? Yeah. Sesame Street was the best. Yeah, it was, yeah. But I, I heard it was something like, uh, I, don't, I don't know, the, uh, the PC. They made it more PC. It's always been kind of PC. Yeah, I mean, it should be, right? Like, yeah, I don't know. What was wrong with Sesame Street? I'm not sure, but... I don't want to talk about the changes now, but okay. if you guys want to talk about the changes privately, send me a message. Yeah. And I'm not we'll worried about something being more PC when it's yeah. for kids. Yeah. I'm all right with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, if, I, if there's something in the world I choose to protest, yeah. I won't have it be that. I'm not going to put any mental energy toward being upset about that. <laughs> I, I could only imagine them doing like a Sesame Street episode on like take backs where like Bird is playing <laughs> against, take -backs. Yeah, yeah, Bird's playing against Ernie and yeah. Ernie makes a mistake. <laughs> I was like, would you let me take it back, Bert? And Bert's like, no way. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the no take backs episode of yeah. Sesame Street. That would actually be a very funny video. <laughs> it would. Like <laughs> would be like to uh, make a voiceover of Bert and Ernie. Yeah. All right, and uh, we're off. They're playing. All right. Kevin on the play with his Esper Blade deck. Sinks off with an island. And uh, does David have the lackey? Well, oh, he's got a diamond. Oh, I'm sorry. He's not the Goblin deck. He's the Lone deck. Yeah, he's a Lone deck. Yeah. So, so I'll, I'll go with no. I, I'll lackey. go with he does not have the lackey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was like, in box time, what's going on? <laughs> he doesn't have a Dark Confidant either, though. No, nah, he, he, he would have played it. But I think I do, do see a couple of uh, Red Elemental Blasts in his hand. I think I see two. Those are pretty good here. Yeah, they are. Yeah. It stops, you know, Brainstorm. Kills a Delver. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, he, counters a force of will. Yeah, he, he's not playing. He's not playing Delver. <laughs> he, uh, he he's the lingering souls. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Geez. Yeah he, uh, he he's like Martel's deck. You see Esper Blade up there. You, you just think I'm type two, you know. Stone Blade, Esper Blade. Going yeah. crazy here. Yeah, it's all right. It's very late. Yeah, it is. It's very. Good. Actually, here in Rhode Island, you Let guys. Let me get don't... the deck list so I can actually. Right, right here. Right. Yeah. All right, excellent. Right here in Rhode Island, you guys don't know this, but it's actually uh, four o'clock in the morning on uh, on Friday. So yeah, it's actually <laughs> it's actually like a hundred hours. It's a different um, fifty in advance, like plane of existence. Yeah, it is. right now there are two moons. All right, so Aaron Mesa gets <laughs> sacrificed. Kevin picks up his deck, and uh, he's probably gonna be the scrub land here. Oh, just the basic planes. That's good too. It's pretty good. I mean, David Rice is playing a deck that has life from the loam and wasteland in it. Yeah. Can't fault him for grabbing a basic. Yeah, and, uh, you know, he has underground sea in his head anyway, so he has access to black mana. Mm -hmm. So, get out the basics, not a, not a problem. All right. So, uh, he uh, plays a Lingering Souls from his hand, and he'll put two spirits into play. I don't think David will have, uh, you know, anything to, uh, to stop that. That's pretty good against a deck like David's. Because of stopping the countryside crusher, or what? Just lingering souls in general. It's just, you know, it's just something that David can't really block. He kind of is going to be forced to use removal spells, or at least lands, to deal with those spirit tokens, because he can't really apply a really fast clock. Sure. Like, once he gets his engine going, he can obviously just, like, machine gun him out, but it's hard to get an engine going against a lot of counter spells, so. Okay. All right, so uh, David uh, taps three mana, and there's a countryside crusher. 
So, I mean, again, we're talking about the Countryside Crusher. It's it's good because David doesn't have to draw lands anymore if he doesn't want to. Yeah. You know? He's all action now. Yeah, and, and I mean, if he wants to, you know, draw lands or get more lands, he could just use the life of, uh, from the loam. Yeah, which he's fat going to hit now with, uh, like, like he's going to have a greater chance to get it now yeah, because course, he's not yeah. going to be drawing lands, he's going to be drawing loam. Yep. All right, so David uh, sacrifices that Wood of Foothills. He's going to stop this force of will with a uh, Red Elemental Blast. So. And that's really good when you Red Elemental Blast a force of will. It's like yep. a him to Turok for one red mana. Yeah. So, no. All right. Let's see. Uh, and Kevin. David's way ahead after that. Yeah. Kevin draws for the turn. I mean, mm, I don't really know what Kevin's plan could be here. Like, he could try to just swarm him with flyers. Yeah. And start going in chump block mode with the countryside crusher once it gets big enough. Mm -hmm. I think but that's kind of the game plan you have to be on here, right? It's, it's pretty good game plan, you think? I don't know if it's pretty good, but I think it's what you have to do. Okay. So he flashes back the Lingering Souls. Yeah. And he'll pass the turn. So let's see how much damage this Countryside Crusher does. Alright, it does nothing. Dark but, Confidant, uh, Dark Confidant's a pretty good card. Strong. And David actually has a loam in his hand already. Yeah, but I mean, like, Dark Confidant's good, but if it starts dealing him damage, you know, he'll definitely lose this race. Yeah. All right, so this is going to be four because of the Wasteland going to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. David Rice is probably going to play Life from the Loam here. And then he'll get back some lands. And yeah, when play. he cycles the Tranquil Thicket, he also makes the Crusher Crusher yeah. bigger again. Yeah, he did So he earlier. actually could have done this in a slightly different order and kind of force Kevin to start chump blocking early. Uh, well, I mean, this turn he just wants to get back some lands and he wants to cast his Dark Confidant. I mean, at least I think that's what, what's going on. Maybe not because... All right, so, okay, so, some confusion here. I think Dave thought that the life from the loan resolved and, uh, and Kevin's like, hey, wait a minute. All right, so now it did resolve. All right, Kevin's going to uh, add a mana and brainstorm. Oh, but David has another red element to blast. Very, very good uh, turn for uh, for David here. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin, Kevin only has uh, two cards left in hand. And that countryside crush is going to get bigger and bigger. Kevin final land? He did. All right, there's a Misty Rainforest. All right, he attacks in with three. I would attack with all four. Yeah, I was thinking that too, just attack with all four. You have to. Yeah. Because it's uh, it's four, then five, then five is 14. And you need to redraw into a V-click, and then you can win, right? All right, again, David doesn't hit any Trump lands to, to, to grow, but I mean, Ooze is pretty good here. Actually, Ooze is not that good. It's like, okay. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's... It's kind of just a 2-2, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So... Yeah, I think Kevin might be a little bit... Oh, Kevin, you can't let that resolve, right? You just gotta... Because you have Lingering Souls in your hand. Yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on in this game. I don't know what these guys are, are, are trying to do here. The plan is yeah. Well, like, what, like, what, what's the exact plan? I, I don't know. I think I think Kevin should have been more all in on this flyer plan. Like last turn, he should yeah. have just cast the lingering souls in his hand. Yeah, you know, um, like he'd have, and he should have attacked with everybody. And I also don't even think I blocked that last turn. Yeah, I don't think so either. I mean, and then it's so you know, he'd have six that. guys in play right now, and you'd beat eleven. Yeah, like that's like having six guys in play and being at eleven is way better than being at sixteen and having three guys in play. Why didn't Ke like, why didn't Kevin cast that lingering souls in his hand? He wanted to keep him in counterspell, I guess. But then he didn't counterspell. Because he definitely had this last turn. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, this is this is weird. All right, so we cast Lingering Souls this turn. I mean, Kevin might still might might still win this game. 
Oh, he needs one more. Winger spells token. There we go. Yeah, he can still definitely win this game. Yeah. Let's see how David does here. Ooh, a time of life. All right. Put some damage on the board for him. Yeah. It's, uh... I don't know. Yeah, I think he definitely should counterspell that scavenging is if he wasn't going to cast the... Yeah. What's that card down at the bottom? Um... I don't know. Well, I mean, it, it, it's removed from the force? Was that what it was? Maybe that's what it was. I mean, I don't remember seeing that card cast this game at all. Yeah, this is like... like right? Like, <laughs> like I, hope, I hope we're not just missing, like, a Snapcaster Midgets on the table. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. I think it is a Snapcaster Mage, but uh, it was removed from the Force of Will. Okay. Yeah. Man, I never remove Snapcaster from Force of Will. I just never cast my Force of Will, so... Yeah. All right, this turn oh, I'm actually going to lose because of the card. All right, so, so Kevin's facing lethal next turn. And he'll draw for the turn. He didn't block? No, nah, he didn't block. Kevin Jones is a man who does not block. But why didn't he attack with all of them if he wasn't going to block one? Well, he did. He only had two back, which he just cast. Okay, but I'm saying like the, the turns oh, before. Oh, the early turns? I don't know. Maybe he was like thinking he should block, and then, you know, he got some more information. He didn't want to block anymore. You never know. All right, so he attacks with only three spirits. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse. <laughs> Kevin has the counter spell, though, right? Yes. Okay. All right, so I guess it actually worked out that he didn't... Uh... All right. There is a counter spell. That counter spell is pretty important. Is that from, like, the Koth for Spencer or something? Uh, that one's from the Jace for Chandra. Okay. All right, chump chump. So, uh, yeah, Kevin's gonna take two damage. He'll go to four life. And he's gonna need to draw Lingering Souls here to stay in the game. It's not looking too good for Kev. Yeah. What do you think he could do? Yeah, um... Do you think Kevin could have won this game? Or no? I mean, this... I feel like he could have, but I don't know for sure. I don't know. Well, there's life. Life from the wall. So he judges back the other life from the wall. Why wouldn't you just... I don't know how much I like Force of Will in the matchup at all. Yeah, I mean, maybe he just thinks, like, there's certain cards that are super important, like Seismic Assault, and he's sure he has some addition chance, but he wants either, even, like, more stuff against it or something. It's just so dangerous against, like, a deck that can pack this many red elemental blasts and, yeah. like, already has, like, discard spells and things like that. Just it, it, the possibility of hemming yourself with your Force of Wills is just brutal. Yep. Yeah, I think Kevin almost has given up at this point. Realizes, yep. All right, so uh, yeah. yeah, that's David game. Rice moving on top four. So all look right. at this, uh, all the decks that, you know, the big name decks going into this top eight, they're all losing. You want to know what's in this top four? 